tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. <laughs> hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. About a month ago, I was driving this highway. This is uh, 35 North, leaving Rockport, and I'm headed towards Portland, Texas today. And uh, we were going to Corpus Christi in that other video. And I didn't film this part of the trip. And I said as a joke, um, I missed all the construction in Rockport and Portland, but or Aransas Pass, but don't worry. I got all the construction in Corpus. So today we get to see what's going on in Rockport. There's Certified Auto, one of my favorite boondocking spots. <laughs> Whenever I have truck trouble. I think I've slept in that parking lot three times. Yikes. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm a mentally unstable person and I live in my truck full time for over four and a half years. I got a Lear topper on the back. And I usually am in the Rockport, Texas area. Make little trips here and then. Cooper. What is that Cooper for? Cooper, I can't even read it. Apparently I have to watch the road. Speed limit is 75, but we're in a construction zone that just ended. There's one of those uh, Aransas County monoliths on the left. But I'm just pacing myself with the senior bus in front of us. They're kind of letting everything grow up there to the left. I wonder why they're doing that. I don't know. Just to save money? Does it cut down on uh, traffic light glare from people coming the other way? I don't know. Inquiring minds want to know. Anyone have any idea why that area is being allowed to be overgrown? Why it's now in this section nicely trimmed? Hey guys, I wanted to thank... Uh, Tisha and Dustin. I was uh, doing my thing at Wally World yesterday, and um, they came and dropped off uh, beans, and it had like shredded pork shoulder in it, and the seasoning on it was absolutely incredible. It was it was almost like a like a soup, but it was uh, really good, really good. So thank you very much, uh, Tisha and Dustin. I hope I'm saying your name right, Tisha. Oh, and their dog, they had a beautiful dog with them. And the dog's name was For Sale. Am I, am I getting that right? <laughs> thank you, guys. I, I gave some to the goat. He's mostly uh, very much appreciative. Of course, I was trapped in the back of the truck with the goat last night. And... Uh, yeah, beans and a goat and me in a small confined place. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> now that was really good. They even gave me a, a, a spoon and a can of RC Cola. When was the last time you guys had an RC Cola? Royal Crown. That's some, uh, that, was, that was a good meal. Thank you, friend. I, I appreciate it. Very kind of you guys. I also, uh, this morning, I got a catch app from Steven. And Steven has sent me several over the last few months. So thank you very much, Steven. I, uh, that was really kind of you. I, uh, yeah, definitely appreciate it. Gas money is, is always welcome. <laughs> I got a, uh, <laughs> a message for Luciano. Now, if you saw the video uh, yet yesterday, I told him this morning I would get him uh, cola and uh, ice when I went into Walmart. And um, I was actually in there doing that where when I got another message, and I, I wish I could read it, but I'm using my phone to film and I'm driving, so probably not the best idea right now. Um... He asked me to pick up two, two 
foot long submarine sandwiches like those pre-made ones and he wanted a, a double order of sonic cheddar poppers a double order of large <laughs> cheddar poppers and two double meat burgers from sonic no onions because onions upset his stomach don't forget and a double order of onion rings so i uh i was already in walmart i dropped them off the sandwiches the soda and a bag of ice and i told him i would be back to town later um and i'll go to uh sonic for him but damn I'm a big fat guy, and I must say, that's an impressive amount of food. There's more construction coming up here in Aransas Pass. Rudy and Amy, Amy, if you're watching today, I did not buy anything for the blessing box today, but I will tomorrow. Had, uh, pressing issues. I have to be in uh, Portland by 9 a.m. and that only gives me 18 minutes. So if we hit traffic, I mean I really should have called and canceled my appointment and told them that Luciano needed Sonic and if they didn't understand that, I, 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 I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know what kind of business they're running there. It is sunny, guys. We got fluffy white clouds. It's a gorgeous day. Here comes more construction. Oh, I got a construction joke for you. Did you hear about the construction worker who was tried for murder and found innocent? Yeah, apparently there was no concrete evidence Ah, uh, it's an old one. Uh, I also... Oh, Stephen didn't get a goat. <laughs> Here's your goat, Stephen. Thank you, sir. And my friend, uh, George Gina, sent me a uh, super... I think they're called super thanks that you do right through YouTube. There's a button on the videos that you can click. So, George Gina... Uh, I gotta hit the goat button while I'm turning. I could really use a, a third arm here. Do they have third arms on Amazon? All right, no one around me. Let's go. Let's go. We can do this, kids. Yeah, they're putting in an overpass here, right by um, oh uh, Butter Churn, and the Ford dealership. Is that a Ford dealership or a Jeep? Or they have a little bit of everything there. Georgina. <laughs> That's for you. There you go. We got that on the straightaway. Uh, I think we just have some money to spend. We're putting in overpasses and ramps. Where They're putting one in back there in uh, Rockport that we drove through. They're putting in an overpass, I believe, at Corpus Christi Street. And they're going to eliminate some of the crossover streets. That's, that's what I was told by my friend Pat. Good morning, Pat. Pat's got a good channel, and there's a link to that channel in the description of this video. Going through Aransas Pass right now, just the Walmarts back to our left, the Walgreens. What else do they have there? A Lowe's. And we usually drive through the other side of Aransas Pass when we go to Port Aransas. And this end of Aransas Pass is up here on the highway. A lot of wind turbines out there if you can make them out. Wind turbines. I see a lot of people are against wind turbines. I don't know enough about wind turbines because I read a lot of positive things and I read a lot of negative things and uh, I don't know what's what's good and what's bad, what's true and what's not. It seems like a good idea to 
harvest the power of the wind. That's why they're called wind farms. And maybe it's just uh, technology we haven't quite figured out yet. We haven't figured out the wind yet. <laughs> we can land on the moon. Maybe that's not true either. That's a bad example, huh? <laughs> so guys, in your opinion, did we land on the moon? Did we walk on the moon? I'm going to say yes. But there are some compelling uh, arguments that we didn't. We're going to go down the conspiracy theory wormhole. I basically don't believe anything I read anymore. I'm pretty sure I actually live in a big house and I just pretend I live in my truck on YouTube. <laughs> you seen those videos? They have the, the people on the corner with the signs and then they follow them back to their brand new car and follow them back to their really nice house. starting to think Luciano might have a super duper shopping cart somewhere that he doesn't let us see. I'm only going 71. The speed limit's 75. But I'm passing people, so I feel like I'm going too fast. You always need that one crazy person going faster than you. What did George Carlin say? Anyone driving faster than you is an idiot. Anyone driving slower than you is a moron. <laughs> Someone blows by you on the highway, like this truck right here. Look at that idiot go. He's gonna kill somebody. You get behind someone going too slow. This moron's gonna cause an accident. Everyone should go the exact same speed I go. And I'm doing that thing that I hate when people do. This guy is passing us and I'm unconsciously speeding up. Because uh, I was just going 80. So now I'm back to 75. We're legal. We're legal in several, several states. Still I-35 South. If you've seen my video with the Utes. Uh, that... Uh, little compound is right to our left now and there's the clouds oh at the end of Luciano's food request the reason why he wanted all that food was because there's a 20% chance of rain today oh <laughs> he always throws in something at the end to explain why he wants whatever he just asked for and mind you this is his money um I have a I always say I have an envelope here in the truck I do not have an envelope but I just say I'm gonna put it in your envelope I don't carry cash I uh, just deposit money when he gives it to me and then I use my uh, debit card to buy what he needs the only cash I have in the truck is uh, quarters for laundry and to buy ice at night Farmers were working really hard. Wow, that sign blew over. Wow. Yeah, uh, in Rockport yesterday, we had winds in the 50s, which I did not know. And uh, Corpus, where we're going in that direction, had winds in the 60s, the mid-60s. So I'm kind of curious what they got down at uh, Baffin Bay. And Baffin Bay Seafood, the restaurant we went to, we were kind of concerned about them because that's where the storm came ashore. I saw on their uh, Facebook page that they closed yesterday not to endanger their employees, which is pretty awesome. So uh, good for them. And I hope everyone in Baffin Bay in that area was all safe. I mean, it's it wasn't a hurricane, but it was still a, a pretty big storm. 
and uh, dead wrong Dale said just from that amount of rain we're right where we should be now for the year at our uh, usual expected rain levels well, guys we're going under some new overpasses that they put up here at Gregory Portland but Gregory Portland it'll get you from Portland up to Taft Texas if you haven't been in this area in a while they've added two overpasses you used to have to go through uh, Gregory and hit a few traffic lights not a big deal at all but I guess they're building for the future and I'm sure that uh, oil refinery and the steel mill up in Sinton and they expect a lot more traffic in the area and now we're back to the cones in beautiful Portland Texas Hey guys, thanks for riding along with me. I really do appreciate you guys. You people are awesome. If you're having any trouble in your life, this too shall pass. Think of all the trouble you've had in the past that was the end of the world. And then a few days later, it was okay. Also remember when you're riding high and everything is going great and you're happy, this too shall pass. <laughs> Everything, everything going to be all right this morning. Oh, yeah. Thanks for riding along with me today. Did you see the size of that hole? <laughs> Thanks for watching.